Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I am the Maze Madman. You know what to do. Before we get started, hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell so you're aware every, every time, time I upload this video. Plus, share this with your friends. Anyway, in this video, we're talking major Michigan recruiting news, plus some huge flip candidates, and I reveal this week's Maze Madman Top 25 in college football, all that, and of course, I'm upset. No disrespect, respectfully, but disrespectfully, it's disrespect. Don't be disrespectful. Those vile, disgusting Spartans, poor little girl, man. And I'ma tell them why I'm mad. That vile, disgusting cesspool in Columbus, the other state, and of course, as always, I'm up, I'm up, set, I'm up, set, I'm up, set, set, All right, so let's get right into it. As you see here, we got the Maze Mad Man College Football Top 25 for week six. Number one is a no-brainer. I had to go with Michigan this week. Um, the first five weeks of the season, I've really been being respectful and trying to respect the fact that Georgia is the back-to-back -back national championship winners, right? They are the back-to-back -back national champs. However, They've really struggled over the last two, three weeks, and Michigan has been dominant since week one. And to speak to that, and to that point, Michigan joined, I believe it's the 93 Florida State team and the 1979 Alabama teams, where they are the only teams that average 30 or more on offense and hold opponents to seven or less on defense through the first five games of the season. So that speaks to Michigan's level of dominance, the level of dominance they've been displaying so far this year. And I understand because everybody is going to say Michigan hasn't played anybody. That said, this isn't like it's the weakest schedule of all time and nobody has done it before Michigan to this point. Michigan just played a quality Nebraska team. Nebraska is not where they want to be. I give you that. However, they are a very good team in terms of the talent level, and Matt Rule is a good college football coach, and Michigan dominated them. They were holding teams to less yards on the ground than Michigan, and Michigan dominated on the ground. So I have to give them credit for that. As you run through this, the top four, obviously, Texas rounded out by the other state, you know. I have to be fair here. My first team out is Florida State at number five. Then six through 15, start with Penn State. They've looked solid. Go all the way down. Oregon State has really impressed me. They did lose a couple weeks ago to Wazoo, but they bounced back nicely. Then 16 through 25, the teams here, Kentucky, who wasn't on my list a week ago, they jumped all the way to 18. They looked impressive in beating Florida. I get it to Florida. And nobody expected much out of Florida. So I, I do have to temper, temper um, uh, what I give Kentucky based on that. But they look like at least the 18th best team in the country to me. And as you see, this is where we get some teams that fell down in the rankings. Utah took a loss. Tennessee did not lose this week, but they were less than impressive. They dropped down. Duke did lose. They could have dropped all the way out. I saw some people drop Duke all the way out of their top 25. I still think they're a top 25 team, so they're there. And then the most controversial one on the list, probably LSU. They have two losses already. Both of those losses technically on the road, even though they played Florida State on a neutral site, it was in Orlando. So it really was a home game for the Seminoles. But if you want to argue LSU out of there, I'm fine with it because I'm no SEC lover myself. But let's move on. Getting right into these recruiting updates, Michigan is in a good spot with five-star edge rusher Nasir Wyatt. He is a five-star out of Major D High School in Santa Ana, California. He Michigan made his top eight. He explained his re good relationship with the Wolverines coaching staff, especially since the dead period ended and they were able to reach out to him at the beginning of August. Things look on the up and up for the Wolverines there. He is looking to get his list down to three, though, before the season ends. I'll keep you updated as more information 
becomes available there. Hopefully the Michigan Wolverines find themselves within that top three for Mr. Wyatt. Moving right along, Michigan is also in the mix for three-star corner out of Ohio, Mr. Dwayne Galloway. Galloway spoke very highly of Michigan, has a great relationship with Michigan defensive backs coach Steve Klingscale, who is also the co-defensive coordinator. He spoke and said that Michigan is extremely high on his list, at the top of his list, so that is always good to hear. You see here he's good at uh, making plays on the ball. We'll keep you posted on this recruitment as more information becomes available as well. Moving right along, this one I think is the most important update of these updates that I'm giving today, and that is Nitro or Nitarian Tuggle. He is teammates with three-star corner out of the state of Indiana, who is also a Michigan commit. Uh, Josiah Josiah Edmond, both of those guys, Josiah Edmond and Nitarian Tuggle, are teammates on Northwoods High School football team in Napani, Indiana. You may remember Nitro was really high on the Wolverines before he ultimately committed to the Georgia Bulldogs. That being said, he's been showing some signs of having some interest in Michigan and the, the coaches are still in contact with him, including Clink, including Ron Bellamy, still keeping the overtures or making the overtures to Tuggle. This one looks like it could be a serious one in terms of being in play for Michigan to flip him from Georgia. Georgia did suffer another four-star decommitment at the same position, though, uh, last week. So... I'm not sure if that moves, you know, the needle at all for Tuggle, whether in a good way or a bad way. That's less competition now at Georgia, but at the same time, can't be that great of a situation if guys are decommitting. Who knows? You know, it could work either way for Michigan, but I do know for their part, the Wolverines are trying hard to flip Tuggle, and he is great friends, and I mean almost best friends, with Josiah Edmond. So that could work in the Wolverines' favor as well. Moving right along, a name that you guys know really well, Jordan Ship, four-star wide receiver out of Providence Day School in North Carolina. He is another uh, flip candidate for the Wolverines. Obviously, he has teammates with Michigan commits, Jaden Davis, and the wide receiver out of Providence Day School, who is a Michigan legacy player whose name is escaping me and I don't know why but he is teammates with those guys both of those guys are on Michigan's in Michigan's current recruiting class in 2024 so Michigan has kept the door open with Jordan Ship he's kept the door open with Michigan North Carolina Tar Heels the Tar Heels is who he's committed to right now but we'll see how this plays out as things progress down the as the season progresses rather North Carolina not looking particularly great but the same can be said for Nightary and Tuggle and Georgia Georgia not looking at their best but they are undefeated they continue to win so we'll keep you updated as more information becomes available and finally three star I'm sorry four star according to on three Deshaun Warner he is currently a Kansas commit but Michigan has been in contact with him, and it looks like they will get a visit as soon as this month. So that is a beautiful thing. He is a 6'4", 215-pound edge rusher. And, of course, Michigan lost, an, lost two defensive linemen in the Smith Twins and another edge rusher in Elias Rudolph. So this would be great in terms of Michigan, you know, re-upping that position. We'll keep you posted as more information becomes available for this as well. Before I get out of here, be sure to like, subscribe, share as always, and stay angry, my friends. Before oh, before that, check me out tonight. I'll be live with Week Zero at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So be sure to check that out. And let me know. Follow me everywhere at Maze Madman. Let me know what you think of this week's top 25 
Until next time, follow me everywhere at May is Mad Man. And until next time, stay angry, my friends. I'm upset. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this might be our best season ever. My ratings, they're about to go through. All right, all right, now, now I'm going to calm down. So I'm going to calm down. So I, don't, I, don't, I just don't get that all that mace and that lock and all that. I just don't get it, son, okay, for just, real. Just calm and down.